everybody, it's Luna Silver Rain again, and I am going to go over a few of my books that I have and some recommended reading uh, for the beginner. So in my last video, I um, didn't put this journal in there for the Book of Shadows video, so I just wanted to throw this in really quick. It's just basically a journal. It was one of the first ones that I bought, and I just thought it was pretty. Um... This first page is made out of metal. I don't know if you can see that, but basically um, I had started really, you know, wandering onto this path more in detail in December of 2012. Um, I first came upon uh, Wicca many years ago, oh, probably in the late 90s. The person I was with at the time uh, was very Christian, and his uh, we lived with his mom, and I had bought a, I think it was like a celestial calendar and some tarot cards or something, and they threw it in the trash, said I was a devil worshiper, so I just kind of put it in the back burner and never did anything um, again, and then we broke up a few years later, and I met someone else who I've been with since 2000, and basically... He doesn't care, um, you know, he doesn't have any opinion on it, and he supports what I do. So anyway, um, I was just a little bit about me. And basically, this is just kind of a journal on what I began doing. Um, things that I started reading, just thoughts. Um, some people call this a uh, book of mirrors, I believe it is. But anyway, um, I only have a little bit in there. I kind of stopped writing in there, which was unfortunate. Okay, so my recommended reading for a beginner is this book. Wicca for Beginners by Thea Sabin. There are so many books that you can get. Um, I'm not saying this is the best one. There are so many out there. But this was the easiest book um, for me to understand. Um, you know, there's some words that people use in regards to Wicca that I had no clue what they were talking about. But anyway, as you can see, here's some of the table of contents. Basically like every other beginner book. But this is a really good book. Um, I've already, I've read it once and then I went and bought it. I rent a... Uh, Got it from the library, and then I went and bought it, and I started reading it again. Uh, just for a, you know, a little refresher. Uh, the table that I'm sitting at is my craft table, so if you're seeing, like, these little things, it's my craft table, so that's what it is. I'm not a pig, I trust, trust me. Next book is uh, Wicca, The Guide for the Solitary Practitioner by Scott Cunningham. I'm sure a lot of you probably read this. If not, I definitely recommend it. Uh, this was one of the first books I bought, and I don't recommend it. <laughs> um, it's a book you should have in your library. I say you should read it, um, just because it's one of those books that was one of the first books written but a lot of the, see if I can find a picture really quick, but a lot, okay, here we go, of the things they do, like this, I don't believe in. And you can see it's like from the 70s or so. I don't believe in getting nude in front of other people and all that stuff. So a lot of the stuff they did in here, I didn't believe in, but I still wanted to read it just so that I could see, you know, what other people believe. <laughs> My very first book on any kind of witchcraft was this book here that I'm sure a lot of you have heard of. Let me pull it up so that you can see. I got this book in, oh gosh, probably, let's see, my son wasn't born yet. So probably like early 2000s, 2001 or two, probably around there. Um, it's the Ultimate Book of Shadows for the New Generation. Solitary Witch by Silver Ravenwolf. Uh, I'm not sure if any of you have read her 
any of her books. But I really, really like her. A lot of the stuff in here is geared towards some younger people. As you can see, look at how old this is. My son colored on it when he was like two. <laughs> a girlfriend of mine that I worked with at the time that I met actually bought it for me. And we lost touch and I'm really sad that we did. But that's her message to me. And this book, it's huge, as you can see, but it has so much information in it. And um, I still use it to this day, but here's a table of contents. It, it's just a really good book. I think any, I think it's about 20 bucks. You could probably buy it and on Amazon. Um, yeah, this then was 19.95, but I don't. It should be about the same now. But it's a really good book to have. Next book, Buckland's Complete, Book of Witchcraft by Raymond Buckland. It's basically a course. Um, everybody calls it the Blue Book. I read through this whole book, and there's a lot of things in here that I agree with. Um, and it, and it shows you how to do so many things. I definitely recommend the beginner to get this book. Um, it, it just has a lot of information. I really like Raymond Buckland. Uh, let's see. Let me grab the next pile here. The Witch's Almanac. Um, is this the one by... These aren't the ones... That I wanted to show you, but yeah, the Lulins, which is companion. This is not it. This is different. Be honest with you, I've only read a little bit of it, so I can't really comment on that book. Sorry about that. Um, this series here, obviously, it's not the new year. I didn't buy this year, like I said in another video. I was off my path for about a year, but I have, I think, 15, 14, and 13. I'm not sure, but I love these books. These books. You could just relate to them. They're easy to understand. There's a lot of good advice. Um, I just really like them. Definitely recommend it. Which is companion. And they go by year. Okay. This is the same author. This is for 2014. Um, it has the different Sabbaths um, from, as you can see, 2013 to 2014. Um, and I read through it for that year. But... And they, they put out new books every year, but there's a lot of good information in that one, too. So, that's a good one. Same author. Magical Almanac. Practical Magic for Everyday Living. I definitely recommend that. This is the 2014 Witch's Companion. I just showed you the 2015. So, every year they put one out, but they're all different. This is another one by Scott Cunningham. Um... Cunningham's uh, Magical Sampler. There's a bunch of different writings and spells in here. And I've read through some of it. I haven't actually read the whole book. But I definitely recommend it. Anything from Cunningham is fabulous. Um, this was a tarot book. It was in a, my tarot cards. And I'm still learning tarot. Um, but I thought it was pretty easy to understand. It is the Easy Tarot Handbook by Josephine Ellershaw. Um, it was like, I think, well, the book is $12.95, but it came in a set. I think it was like 20 bucks. I have a couple more. This is the same author as the Almanacs. Uh, the 2015 Moonshine book, and they do these every year. These are awesome. You don't have to necessarily buy it every year, you know, but, like, I bought it for last year, but I just like reading about the moon. Obviously, my name's Luna. Another one by Cunningham. Everybody should have this on their bookshelf. Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. This one I haven't even got to yet, so I can't comment on it, but there's the author. And I'm probably going to start reading this one, actually, fairly soon. This book I bought, oh man, Ooh, I don't even remember, a few years ago, I picked it up at one of the Psychic Eye Shops, 
It was only $7.50, but it was it had some good information in there. I think it was one of the books on Wicca I bought. And then the last one I have is a complete book of Zodiac. Um, and, you know, I recommend having something like this on your shelf as well if you're interested. But pretty much any witch is. Um, sorry I'm not showing my face, but I don't like looking at myself on video. But that's pretty much my witch's library for right now. I'm trying to build it as I go. Um, I have a lot of books on Kindle as well, but I'm just old school and I like actual feel of books. So thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one.